Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today let's continue with the topic of R9 Flex firmware from Eferosky, the probably the firmware that finally fixed the whole Eferosky R9 system because it looks like it's really finally working. I did some tests over the last few weeks, two weeks probably, two weeks, yeah, two weeks, and yeah, it's fine, it's working. There are no sudden short range face safe, everything is fine, even when someone uh, close by is flying, it works. It finally, finally works. So I probably really can recommend you to update to the Flex firmware or R9M, R9 Lite, and all the air receivers, but also to proper firmware of your OpenTX radios because with Flex you need at least OpenTX 2.2.3 with some special options. When starting with Eversky Flex firmware you have to have your OpenTX radio updated to at least OpenTX 2.2.3. 2.2.2 two, 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 two will kind of work in the ifish way because the radio will work but you will really be enabled to set correct frequency for the radio so go to OpenTX download 222 or newer because those changes from 223 should also be in the newer install OpenTX companion and then go to settings because the flex support is not enabled in OpenTX by default. In the settings, in the radio profile, you have to set a checkbox flex XR9M. Only then the radio will be ready to really handle flex firmware on the R9M R and, and R9 Lite transmitters. And then everything is, well, let's say, kind of obvious. You only have to download. Where's the download? I never remember where the download... Um, download, yes. And I will get the 223 with Flex R9. And then it's only about flashing with right firmware to radio, but this is not a topic for this video. Now, let's go to the radio. After updating your radio to the correct version and going to the model settings, you will notice there, there, are, hmm, there are some slight differences. First of all, you can no longer select if this is European Union version or FCC. Now you select the frequency. With non-flex, you select country or region where you live. With flex, you only select a frequency. If you are living in the United States, you select one no, 915. If you live in the European Union, you select 860 else. If you live somewhere else, you select according to the open frequencies. It will be even 915 or 868, but you have to know the correct frequency for your region. I don't know the correct frequency for your region. Next, the next thing is the Smart port link is now enabled all the time because the flex assumes that you always want your telemetry. Oh, kind of obvious, right? And the transmitter will always try to transmit the telemetry regardless of the power set on the transmitter module. Previously, it was not like that. You had the telemetry in European Union only on 25 milliwatts, which kind of sucks. Now the, trans the receiver will do whatever it can, you it can to give you telemetry back. So it's enabled all the time and it is a good choice. And the last thing is the RF power. Uh, instead of the different powers previously that were available for FCC and TU, right now this is unified. You have 10 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts, 500 milliwatts and the, actually the most interesting auto 1 watt. What does auto does? What does auto does? Yeah, what auto does? Auto does auto. Depending on the quality of the radio link you're having, and uh, the RSSI and the number of dropped frames and stuff like that, the details are probably known only to the FirstSky developers. The transmitter module will adjust the power from 10 milliwatts to 1 watt, depending on the radio signal. If you are close, it will always try to use the lowest possible. If you are far and the signal is weaker, it will just gradually bump the, the output power higher and higher to really match and match the, the needs and give you the best experience. Of course, 
after setting everything here on the radio you also have to remember that you have to update all the receivers as well the receivers non-flex are not compatible with the flex they have to be the same if you updated radio to flex you have to update all the receivers to flex as well and one more time you also have to bind all the receivers again and then that's all like i said it really works there are no more uh, close range fail safe the link is stable even with someone uh, with r9 also or even crossfire is flying close to you it's all fine it's working it's very fantastic um, in the future maybe you will also get over the air updates of the receivers and maybe the uh, transparent serial breach hmm that would be super 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 awesome but not yet and but don't worry I will g keep you updated because I'm like you see I'm using my R9 and I kind of want to get the best so just watch the channel okay that's all for today until the next one bye